how will it feel to run on the surface of the moon, where the pull of gravity is only one-sixth that of Earth? The National Aeronautics and Space Administration is seeking answers to this question in lunar gravity simulators, where astronauts obtain first-hand impressions of gravity as they will experience it during their explorations of the moon. On the moon, an astronaut who weighs 180 pounds here on Earth will weigh only 30 pounds. Lunar gravity will give him new dimensions in mobility and pose new problems too, for it won't be this much fun on the moon. Here's a comparison of a few typical operations performed in Earth and lunar gravity. Walking on the moon takes twice as much time and a lot more effort, too. And running is another story. In jumping, the man on the moon has a decided advantage. Climbing on the moon is a task our astronauts must accustom themselves to in simulations here on Earth. A little effort takes a man a long way on the moon. This harness gives the astronaut under gravity to actually many of the tasks they will soon perform on the surface of the moon. Yet an airplane moves over the top of a Keplerian arc, high above the ground. Here, 30 seconds at a time, astronauts in weighted spacesuits go through many of the tasks they will soon perform on the surface of the moon. By the time the first astronauts reach the moon, they will have performed most of their exacting tasks many times under simulated lunar gravity conditions. With this experience behind them, the Apollo astronauts are ready for operations on the moon in the greatest adventure of the century. <laughs>